Good morning everyone, it is a particularly chilly day on campus today. I am here to show you around some of the hidden gems of your campus. There is many, but I'm only going to be showing you three today. But before I take you over to the quiet place, um, I'm going to show you some of the beautiful scenery that you can see around campus, especially on a chilly day like today. The first place that I'm going to be taking you is the quiet place which can be found behind Heslington Hall. It is a building that has been split into four parts that has been put aside specifically for quiet meditation and reflection and prayer. It is in a beautiful part of the campus and it can only be accessed with a code so you know that when you go there it is just going to be people respecting the space and using it for their own personal quiet area. The quiet place is perfect if you want to pray, if you want to meditate, if you need some quiet reflection time, if you want to escape the hustle and bustle of university life. It is a beautiful place that anyone can use to come and sit and relax. The next place I am taking you looks very unassuming, especially on a day like today. But in 2013, this location was home to an extensive archaeological dig, and as a member of the archaeology department, I had to mention it. And they found items on this site dating back to up to 11,500 years ago, so people have been enjoying this campus for a very long time. If you want more information about this dig, it is all available on the University of York website. The last place I am going to take you on this very brief tour around campus is Seward's Howe Water Tower. It was built in 1955 but is no longer in use. Uh, the site is of particular interest because Seward was an 11th century Danish warrior who features in Macbeth and is rumoured to be buried near the site. You can still have a wander around the site to this day, even though it is all fenced off. The walk around it is very green and pretty if you fancy a wander. That concludes our very brief tour of some of the hidden gems of the University of York campus. There is many, many more to find, but I will leave them for you to discover on your wanderings. If you have a day free or you find yourself in the area if you're not from around here, then I would definitely recommend having a wander around and seeing what you can find. You will always find something that you didn't know was there before. I hope you enjoyed this video and from me and the ducks, goodbye!